me and my friends are going to present to you about the fermentation of pizza dough. In this video, we are about to make some pizza dough for our PBL project. The process of making the dough is really easy yet exciting as we are involving some yeast in making our dough a success. Did you know that the process of fermentation in bread was used since the era of ancient Egyptians in 4000 BCE? Back in 1854, a French chemist and microbiologist, Louis Pasteur, found that our food can ferment and spoil over time because of microorganisms in the air. However, these days, the process of fermentation is used to increase the lifespan of food so they stay fresh for a longer time. Back to our pizza dough, the use itself is really versatile which means you can use it not only for making pizza but also to make your favourite sausage rolls. Above all, the dough can last as long as 3 months if you keep it in the freezer. Just store the dough in the fridge overnight before cooking the next day and your dough is ready to use. The process of leaving the yeast in dilute sugar solution helps to activate the yeast so it makes the dough to rise faster. This result can be seen in only 15 minutes. However, remember not to use extreme hot or cold water as it could either slow down the activity of the yeast or even kill the yeast. So make sure the water is in room temperature. Sugar acts as the food for the yeast. Some bakers tend to skip the process of adding the sugar as they are very concerned about the diabetic patient. However, as the recipe only calls for 3 teaspoons of sugar, it will not affect a person much. 
it is almost impossible for a person to indulge the whole pizza. So, at most, a person will only consume one teaspoon of sugar. Despite all, a diabetic patient is still advised not to consume the dough in a larger amount as the white refined flour itself is most probably to spike blood sugar as it contains a higher amount of carbohydrate. After the dough mixture is all incorporated and ready to proof, it is left for at least one hour to one day at most. Remember that the more time you leave it to proof, the more complexity and gluten development will take place. So the taste, texture and overall quality of the dough will be much better than the one left to proof for a short period of time. Alcoholic fermentation will take place to break down simple sugars into ethanol and also carbon dioxide which can be seen when the dough rises. Little bubbles will form when left to ferment. The suitable temperature for the dough to proof is between 35 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. At lower temperature, fermentation will slow down as the enzyme activity is reduced, thus causing undesirable aromas and also excessive acids will build up. At the end of the process, the dough is wrapped in cling film and put in an airtight container before popping it into the freezer to prevent the dough from drying out. The extreme cold temperature in the freezer will deactivate the enzyme activity of yeast and bacteria as well as fermentation of the dough. This means the dough can last for as long as 3 months but of course, the taste and quality will be slightly different. As you can see, the whole process is really simple but it consumes a bit more time as it has to be left to rise. Homemade pizza is certainly a healthier choice as you can control the amount of ingredients. And it's also easy for picky eaters because they get to choose what they want for their toppings unless, of course, someone else is making it for you. Some may find fermented food tastes weird because of the zest and tartness of the yeast. However, did you know that the yeast can actually promote growth of beneficial bacteria, which is known as probiotics. Probiotics have been shown to improve immune functions and also digestive and heart health. This is because the probiotics produced during fermentation will help to restore the balance of friendly bacteria in the stomach and alleviate some digestive problems. Moreover, fermented foods may also lessen the severity of diarrhea, constipation, gas and bloating. Lastly, fermented foods can boost your immune system and reduce infections such as the common cold. Now, let's stop money. Living in this modernizing era means you have access to information and even getting your orders to your front door with just a single click. Thus, we plan to promote our pizza dough through social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. With many people spending time on social media every day, this presents great opportunities for us to reach our online audience. Thus, Marketing through social media is just as cost-effective because we will not have to pay a renting cost unless we plan to advertise our account in a specific channel on social media.